Welcome to our introduction of NTT's 2021 Global Threat Intelligence Report, the GTIR. I am Sushila Naya, VP Security Services at our Chief Digital and Strategy Office here at NTT Data. This is the ninth year we've published the report, and as always, with lots of information for you, which will really allow you to understand the cyber threat landscape. John, do you want to talk about how we put the report together? Uh, thank you, Sushila. I'd be happy to. I'm John Heimerl, Senior Manager in the Global Threat Intelligence Center, where we produce the annual Global Threat Intelligence Report, along with our other reports, white papers, security bulletins, and threat intelligence. One of the messages that we find best supports the results of the analysis is that organizations who invest in resiliency in business operations, technology, people, and controls will have the greatest success in actively identifying, preventing, and recovering from disruptions. The 2021 Global Threat Intelligence Report, the GTIR, contains global attack data gathered from NTT Limited and supported operating companies for the entire year of 2020. Analysis is based on log, event, attack, incident, and vulnerability data from NTT's clients across six continents, over 150 cybersecurity advisory assessments, data from our global security operations centers, active research from seven research and development centers, and data collected from NTT's Global Threat Intelligence Platform, where we correlate all of the information. There are so many cybersecurity reports out there, John. What makes this report different? That's a great question. And I think, I think we have the advantage in the wider variety of the data we use in the process. I mean, we gather security log, alert, event, and attack information for our managed monitoring services. This is many millions and millions of records. We include cybersecurity advisory data, which is assessment and planning data about the security maturity of assessed organizations, which is a variety of consulting services data. We include application security data from NTT's White Hat application security testing, and we include insight from strategic alliances like the Cyber Threat Alliance and Europol. And we include our own market security and industry research that we have performed ourselves throughout the year. And we look at all this data together to try to get a full picture of cyber activity from many different points of view. And this is the information that appears in the report. Well, our next video is going to feature an in-depth analysis of the report. Can you, John, summarize our top findings so just a quick snapshot for our audience? Yeah, I can. So we looked at all the data we saw and all the results, all the findings we saw, and we kind of group those, the majority of those finding things into six areas of related key findings. The first one is industries in the line of fire. We saw a significant shift of attacks to focus on the finance, manufacturing, and healthcare industries over all other industries. We observed a slight increase in the overall attacks, but we also saw a significant shift of attacks from other industries to these three, so that we saw 62% of all attacks targeted those three industries. We saw a change in how malware was being used. In previous years, we saw more of the same malware across industries and across regions. This year, we saw cryptocurrency miners and Trojans replace spyware as the most common malware families globally. And we saw an evolution in the use of certain malware variants against specific industries and regions. For instance, we saw more miners and Trojans in the Americas and in EMEA and we saw more botnets and Trojans in the Asia Pacific region. I mentioned coin mining, cryptocurrency mining. Notably, we saw a surge in cryptocurrency mining. We'll call them coin miners for short. There was a surge in cryptocurrency prices in the past year, and this helped lead to the fact that 41% of all malware globally was some form of coin miner. And the coin miner called XMRIG accounted for 82% of all coin mining activity. COVID-19 gave threat actors something to focus on and embrace for attacks. We experienced high usage of COVID-19 lures for phishing attacks. We saw COVID-19 dedicated malware. We saw target attackers targeting finance, manufacturing, and healthcare, specifically targeting equipment producers, COVID-19 research, vaccine research and distribution, and other related targets. And we saw organizations focus more on operations to adapt to COVID-19 and probably place less priority on compliance initiatives. But we also saw operations in 2020 reinforce the need for privacy. Finally, we saw attackers take advantage of migrations towards digital activity by using web-based attacks. The rate of web application and application-specific attacks has more than doubled in the past two years, so that now 67% of all attacks target remote workers, virtual environments, and digital infrastructures by attacking the portals, websites, 
and technology organizations are using to meet the basic needs of their business right now. Thanks so much, John. I'm really looking forward to doing a deep dive review of the full 2021 GTIR report with you. In that, we're going to analyze the findings specific to each industry. A link to the report is in the comments section so our viewers can download it. This video is the first in our cybersecurity series on YouTube. Subscribe to this channel to gain key insights and analysis on the security landscape and understand how you can protect your organization today while preparing for tomorrow.